Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, we're gonna do distorted text using time displacement. And you might know this effect as slit scan effect. And we've seen like this kind of effect uh, kind of like everywhere lately. And I even personally recently just created a lyric video using this type of effect. And it's actually pretty quick and easy to do. So let's get started. So I have my text here already and I want you to create two guides so just put the first guide onto the start of your text and the second guide onto the end of your text and then hit Y on your keyboard and you want to move your anchor point and you want to move it to your right side of the text so just drag it there usually it will just snap to your guide basically I want to animate the scale of this text so I'm gonna create keyframes there and then onto two seconds and remember we just want to animate the x value of the scale so you want to turn off this constraint proportions and then put it zero and i'm just gonna select all hit f9 to easy ease it so in order to create the distortion we want to create gradient ramp on solid so i'm just gonna create a solid and then under effects and presets look for gradient ramp and basically what gradient ramp does to time um, displacement the black is gonna slows down or delay the speed of your animation and then the white is gonna speed it up so i'll show you in a minute i'm just gonna turn this off and then pre-comb that and call it displacement and then on the effects and presets, we want to look for time displacement. Drop that onto distorted text. And then you want to change the time displacement layer to your displacement. Yeah, as you can see, your text is already distorted. It's kind of like jagged. It's kind of like separating your text onto like um, different parts. And yeah, you can play around with your max displacement time and time resolution. So for example, if you change the max displacement time, it just kind of like makes your text more distorted like that. And then if you change your time resolution to lower, for example, 30, or well, you don't really see it there, but okay, I'll show you again. So if we go back to 60, it's kind of like the jagged is like kind of like smoother but like if you change it to 30 and each part is like um, bigger or wider but the higher it is it's kind of like the smoother it is so if we even like change it to 100 it will be more smoother but I'm just gonna leave it to 60 and I'm just gonna leave the max displacement time to 1 as the text is coming in from the right I want to animate out the text to the left so in order to do that, I am going to go to 3 seconds and then cut this layer by holding Ctrl Shift D. I'm just going to turn off that keyframe and then scale, go to 4 and at 4, I want to type in 0 again. Now, I want to go back to the first frame of this layer and then make sure you move the anchor point to the left of your text so that it animates out to the left. Yeah, so it's basically that. Now what I want to do, I'm just going to create another text that comes right after this first text animates out. So I'm just going to copy this first layer, put it at the top there, and then just hit the open square bracket to make that layer go to where your playhead is. And I'm going to change this layer to purple just to make a difference. I'm going to turn off the scale layer, so make sure it's like both of them are the same number, back to normal. And then I'm going to change this to text. And I have my color palette here, so I'm just going to change the color to this pink. I'm going to turn it off. Now, the reason why I had the guide in the first place is just to make sure that both of the text has the same width. And to make sure that they're all like in the same kind of like position so you see that i placed the right side of the text like right onto the guide and then now i want to move the anchor point the end of the text onto these dots now i want to stretch this text out onto this 
first guide so actually I'm gonna change the width to bold to make it more bold all right now we're gonna do the same thing again which is animating the scale um, yeah create a scale and then And go back to the first frame of your text and then make sure it's zero and then easy easy it again when i go to six seconds i'm just gonna extend this layer and then cut it again with Control shift d and then turn off that scale animated it out again so yeah change the x value to zero easy ease and then make sure you go back to the first frame of your text and then move this anchor point all the way to the left all right let's preview this now just a quick tip on gradient ram so basically if we go back to your displacement precon and then if we swap these colors around you'll see that the distortion is also swapped that is because now the black is on the bottom of the screen and the white is on the top of the screen like that so basically, yeah, the black is delaying the animation as the white's speeding up your animation. But I like the way it was before, so I'm going to swap it back. And yeah, you can always play around as well with the gradient ram. Alright, that's it. That's how you created the distorted text using time displacement. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and feel free to share around this video and let me know if you have any requests or suggestions on what tutorial I should do next.